really committed to the chamber and this group. So he's a great referral source, not even within the company, so outside. So I feel like he'll do great things for y'all. Um, I'm a resource as well. You'll have access to my information through the company. Um, I manage the operation side of it, so I take care of scheduling and you know supplies and marketing and advertising and a lot of different things. Um, so what we're gonna go through today is briefly just a little bit about who we are, what we're good at, what we feel like our expertise, where it lies, and how you can get involved in both assisting your customers and helping us with our business, uh, and in turn, how we can reciprocate that back to you. Um, what I wanna start with is the, the actual little bit about us. Um, we, we're locally owned, 25 years in business. Um, the owner, uh, his family has had the business around for 25 years. Uh, he's very active in the business. He's not just a background. He's involved in the day-to-day -day operations. Uh, we are full-service general contractors, so we talk about roofing as our specialty, but we involve everything else that comes along with it, uh, specifically in our insurance claims management. So we can handle an entire claim from your interior to your exterior, from drywall to insulation, all the way down to the flooring and and anything else, including content management. Um, we are A plus rated on the BBB, and we are Hague certified, meaning that we have people on staff who have been certified to be able to assess, particularly a uh, roof, and determine whether or not it's been damaged to specifications met by the manufacturer, and that in turn tells an insurance company, you know, whether or not something should be paid for. Uh, actual areas of expertise. Um, Insurance claims management is one of the huge things for us. Uh, the management company maintenance program is very big. Our insurance agent relations, and then of course our real estate listing agent uh, uh, management program. Before we get into that, just a little bit about our actual, you know, some of our marketing pieces. We're really big in customer retention and customer satisfaction, as our, you know, assume all of us are. We do certain things for our customers. You know, obviously have review sheets and BBB ratings. Uh, our insurance and that sort of thing. But one big thing that differentiates us is during all our constructions, all our installs, we do take courtesy in our neighbors. So we want to reach out to our customers' neighbors. We have a simple handout that lets them know that we are working in their area, uh, that we are aware of the disturbance that a roof installation can be. Uh, and we want to make sure that they understand that we want to be courteous to their time. So we always give them the information because uh, we all know debris can fly and get around. We don't always know when it falls behind an eight foot fence. So we want that homeowner to be able to have someone they can comfortably call and say, you know, hey guys, some of your stuff fell in here, do you mind picking it up? We've seen it in the past where it becomes an issue between neighbors because they feel like, you know, God, I had to go pick up that one shingle. Is it really about picking up the one shingle? No, it's about the fact that, hey, somebody should at least be aware of what's going on out here. So we really want to be proactive and not just taking care of our customer, but being respectful to everybody in the neighborhood. Uh, some of the actual products that we do, just so you're aware, when it comes to the roofing, uh, we do your traditional composition roofing, of course, that we see the majority of that's out there. But also, your metal standing seam, your stone-coated steel, your tile, whether it be clay or concrete, and of course, wood shake, synthetic shake, actual slate roofs, we handle all of it. So, um, and this is, of course, most of your steep, roof applications, we do do flat roof applications as well. You know, your TPO, PVC, modified bid, you know, just the stuff that you don't see, these flat roofs that you see on commercial buildings. So we do have the ability to handle and install all these different items. Going into the, the four topics I wanna to talk about, the insurance claims management. Um, we have adjusters on staff. I'm both a public adjuster as well as a, uh, a independent property claims adjuster. So I kind of know all three sides. Uh, I'm familiar with working uh, with the insurance companies as well as working with insurance agents, uh, and then of course the homeowner's rights. HB 1183 and uh, as well as HB uh, 3851 are both really important to us. Um, 1183 states that we cannot be insurance adjusters and general contractors. We have to be a general contractor. We're not there to interpret policy. We're not there to tell the insurance company, you owe code upgrade to this homeowner. That's what a public adjuster does. Um, HB 3851, we do not 
absorb, wave, discount, throw away, hide, deductibles. So any referral that we get, we will treat them just like every other customer. We want to keep them compliant uh, because we need to stay compliant. Uh, are there legal aspects to how a homeowner can assist themselves with a deductible? Yes, but at the end of the day, as we explained to a homeowner, you're not not paying your deductible. You're just not using all your insurance proceeds for all the work listed on your insurance estimate. You're deferring some of the work for a later point. And you have a full right to do that. Your insurance company is just not going to pay for these items a second time if they're damaged again. So are there legal avenues? Yes but we do not even go close to any of these uh, yard sign allowances or marketing allowances or any kind of lingo that you might find out there. Um, not every customer is for us and we aren't for every customer. So we don't sacrifice our warranty, our integrity uh, for any one customer. We are gonna treat everyone the same, whether you have a $500 deductible and you're paying a super high premium or you've got a 3% deductible because you know you have a 3% deductible and you'd like to save on premiums and you have this money in the bank for the, the situation. So uh, that's just something that we don't compromise on. We're very steadfast on that. The supplement process is very important to us. Uh, we go through and we will not gauge it as, a, as an adjuster and dispute policy with our insurance companies, but we will, we will uh, go on behalf of the homeowner and bring up anything that's missing. So if we have an adjustment, we do want to go back, we want to verify measurements, take a look at the entire property. And even if we're not doing the work, we feel like it's our right to assist the homeowner in this process. But there's a real fine line in constituting the, the house bill. So if it goes to a point of policy dispute, we always back off because we don't have that right. The homeowner isn't hiring us as a uh, public adjuster. And then, of course, the last thing is the, the discounted insurance premiums. We're always going to work with the insurance companies to find out what the discounts are, whether they go back with an impact-resistant roof and that kind of stuff. So we always talk about upgrades. We talk about even non-insurance discounted upgrades, but maybe energy-efficient upgrades. We can go back with radiant barrier decking, hurricane straps, home fortification, um, the whole bit. So we're very open with our homeowners, and we want them to know, here are your options. It may not financially suit you at this moment, but the last thing we want is for you to get your roof installed. Um, six months down the road, talk to your neighbor who got radiant roof <coughs> decking, and you weren't familiar of it being an option to you. We'd rather you know your options and then decide, no, it's not for you, than to just rush on and get this roof put on. We're very patient in the process. For our management uh, company maintenance program, this would be for anybody who owns a commercial building, manages a commercial building, we do biannual quarterly maintenance agreements with them, so we'll go on and we'll inspect the property on a biannual or quarterly session. We'll also do those inspections as part of just a routine process. So in between time there's a storm, of course, we'll go out there and inspect. These management agreements are set so that they have no hesitation to call a company to take care of these repairs, and they're paying for it up front. Um, most maintenance on commercial buildings, they're just unaware. You know, nobody goes up there except the HVAC guys. And occasionally, not this HVAC guy and that HVAC guy, but they sometimes leave tools up there, they leave stuff up there that can damage the TPO, and nobody's aware of it until there's a leak. So we're kind of proactive in that approach, trying to get our commercial management people to be proactive and have us in agreement prior to these things happening. Um, we are 24 seven on call for those temp repairs though. Uh, when it does happen, we want to be very quick to tarp it up and be mitigating the uh, damage so it isn't further. We really want to be that one-stop shop for our commercial clients. Our commercial clients need to feel like if there's anything going on with their roof that they can call us, and that's what the maintenance agreement does. We are in agreement with them for a set price that we will be out there and be on call for them. So it's a great program if you have anybody who owns a commercial building. Our insurance agent relations. We offer a detailed report for our agents. Um, we get referrals from agents. We'll go out and inspect properties, and then we'll come back to them. This is all prior to filing a claim because it's maybe not always necessary. Our job isn't just to go do jobs that require insurance work. Sometimes it's a minor repair. Sometimes there's actually just no issue at all. A homeowner just wants to have their roof looked at just for uh, peace of mind. The cooperative claims handling is very important to us as well with them. We want to be 
in constant contact with our agents as we do any referral source if they want us to be. Insurance agents, we have a mutual customer and we respect that and we want them to feel like if there's anything going on that they don't need to hear it from their customer, that they hear it from us first. Uh, and, and that's something that we want to be very proactive in doing. The, the, again, the continued up-to-date communication is ongoing. It's just ongoing through the process. We all know that this process can sometimes take weeks, if not months, and we want to make sure that we're always in the loop on that. The completion survey is a really big deal. When we finish our job and we do this for insurance agents, we do this for realtors, we do this for HVAC guys that, that provide us leads, is that we will go back to the homeowner, we'll give them a call upon completion, of course, we're making sure that we've done what we're supposed to do, but we also get a survey done on the company who's given us this lead, who most likely provided service for them. So we're going to speak on, we're going to speak to them with interest of you in mind. You know, so are you happy with your insurance carrier? Are you still with Mrs. Smith? How have things been going? Great, great. We'll, we'll let her know. We report everything back. So it serves as kind of a third party survey, not just on our performance, but their perception of you. And so that's a great way of you having great feedback directly from the homeowner on how you're providing service to them. And we do that on every lead. The real estate listing management agreement, what we do, and the reason why I say listing agent is because buyer's agents are not our forte. A buyer's agent, very it's very rare that the buyer's agent will take a, an inspection and then hire us to do a job. They usually just need an inspection. Usually it falls on the owners of the property, the existing owners, that will take care of repairs. So we really do focus primarily on listing agents, uh, but if you do both, then we can do that. Um, we wanna work with them in the same manner. Uh, the photo inspection report is delivered after inspection. We expedite those claims if we need to. We can do assignment of claims. So if you have a homeowner who's in the home they're wanting to close, but the roof needs to be done. They can open a claim, assign it to the new homeowner, and then the new homeowner has time to patiently do what they want, which is kind of cool. Because usually the existing homeowner wants to just kind of slap up for whatever it takes to get past on the inspection. This goes the other route and slows it down so the new owner can maybe put on a better quality roof, a different color, whatever it is they want. And that's a great way of doing that. We also expedite the actual process. So if you do need to have something done quickly before closing, we can get a roof installed within about 48 hours. So that's something we can do as well. And of course we do the completion survey for our realtors as well. The final three takeaways that I'd like to kind of just leave y'all with, um, there are three different points that we can assist when it comes to an insurance claim. And that's the initial inspection prior to filing the claim and then the review of it through supplement after a claim has been filed, we can get involved at that point and still assist a homeowner to maximize their claim. Or finally, if you have anybody who's been denied, we all kind of know some people, they don't talk about it much, but when it comes up, they think, yeah, they just didn't cover me again, or they said it was old damage. That's a real key point in our business. We can go back, we can reopen a claim, we can talk to them, justify it, whether it's through a public adjuster or through appraisal, and we assist a lot of homeowners that way. Uh, Jeff is our liaison here, so please keep him in mind. Uh, please reach out to him. Uh, we're real easy to get a hold of. You text us, you email us, you call us. Uh, that's a great way to send over a referral. We keep track of those and we make sure that uh, everybody gets taken care of in the process. Uh, any questions? Uh,